Welcome back to Barto Anime Review, episode number 209. Now, you're probably thinking, Nick, don't you usually review this after you do One Piece? Yes. That's indeed true, but there's a reason why I'm basically doing this, because, well, the reason is because apparently there is no... New new episode release this week. Nope. Yeah, for some reason... They decided not to release a new episode this week for some reason. I'm not really sure why they just did. So, I figured though, we have a new chapter of the manga. Just discuss that. And I, I kind of figured, oh, not a bad idea to do. Alright, now... One chapter 60 of the manga. Congratulations, the manga releasing chapter 60. No, this is a monthly manga. If it's a weekly manga, it's like nothing new. But this is a monthly manga. The basic is manga is going on now for five years. It's called A Place to Belong. And the cover image is Ida's Little Brother. Yep. And apparently, uh, from what I can tell, Barton's got a new logo. Yeah, apparently they updated the logo for some reason. Not really sure why. Chapter starts off with Sai and Shikamaru are investigating claw marks. Yes, they're investigating claw marks where they come from. And you see Ibuki, like, wow, that is somebody who has not been seen in the manga for Baruto. Not that I remember, no. He's popped up a couple times in the anime to take over one particular team. But in the case of him appearing in the actual manga itself, I don't think he's actually appeared. And basically, I'll discuss about the claw marks, look, all look for Ko with no success. And then we see Kawanaki just sitting on top of the Kage Mount. And then we see Sumeri talking to Armando. Please explain to me, what plane do you have for Sura Kamar? I'm trying to keep that under uh, Kawanaki's, I'm trying to get the reps. But it's a purse matter. I'll discuss with Kawanaki, but frankly, I'd rather not share with you. But sure, your, your fear is a baseless. I have zero intention of doing harm to doing zero wrong, I swear. Hmm, what's that? What's this container? Could you leave, Kaneki? Quite busy. You can't tell me? Just told you. Won't do wrong as a matter of fact. I've already read this by Kitsuke. After sharing the tech with your village, I condition of borrowing my equipment. This one should bring a powerful ally. And that's it. Powerful ally. Yep, that's the last year's summary. Yes. Now, it was mentioned, I think, a couple chapters back, she actually asked to be transferred to be his assistant, despite the fact she was already Keisuke's assistant. Why was she transferring Keisuke's assistant to a mono assistant? I don't really get it. Well, they say the reason because she's worried about Baruto and Kawanaki. Of course, in the manga, it's been hinted that she's got a thing for Baruto, but Kawanaki, I'm not really sure. Probably because she's because of a close friend. And of course, Code is like, oh yeah, let's have basically where... See, if I want to see Code, and he's basically riding around Ida's brother. Very long, very long. Freaking it down myself. Yep, and he jumps up and goes on bug. Splats bug. And apparently there's claw marks. Apparently it's a new ability. He can walk to the claw marks. This is my ability. I can freely move between the claw marks. Quick show you and explain. And of course, it looked like bar was cut. It looked like bug was cut in half by the claw marks, but he fixed. No problem. The only way it allows me to go back and forth. Oh, me go back and forth. I can bring one person, bring others to me one at a time. Hmm. Cool. Thanks, Cody One. No thanks to the ability to check it out to reflect the ability. That seemed like it. Why, thank you. I explain more detail about how your ability works. Let me see. Daemon. Yeah, Daemon basically is Ida's little brother. Shush. She recovered so rapidly. Oh? He goes like, oh, don't you trust me? I already told you that Demon reflects attacks. That's all you need to know for the time being. You really are tough enough to crack. Don't take offense, Code. We only just met, you know. I need more time pass where I can show you everything. Bedazzlement and chagrin. I should assume that you all you two, but don't tell me you got other abilities that 
you haven't damn you you haven't damn sh started yet. Well, wouldn't that be interesting? Sorry, Ko, I don't mind telling you. But since Big Sis, I can't. Maybe next time. <laughs> and then we see Kwanik in his store. Just uh, in a convenience, just looking around. Just minding his own business. Think about jogging. And then we run to finally, and we finally see Baruto in the chapter. Finally, 20 pages in, we finally see the main character of the series. We see Biffy Shikadai. He just basically walk about. Yeah, and it turns out he's actually walked by his own house. Yes, his house. Hanada basically comes and says, Has Kwanaki come in? Nope, dinner's about ready soon. And so you have Kwanaki just sitting on top of the Kage Mount, just drinking, look like a bottle of water and what else else? A ball of one ball, rice ball of water. Yeah, he's joined by Naruto. I know Hanada's my dinner by now. What are you doing here? I'm bored of it. Can't eat other stuff sometimes. How about better excuse first? You've never not cleaned your plate. Like, you really like this spot. It's like everything I don't like to do from here. Out to gaze upon the village you protect, but. There ain't. And of course, at the China for a while, he's like. Of course, Naruto's like, screw this, just picks him up. We're going home, my stupid son. <laughs> yep. Yeah, first aquatic, he is a stupid son. Okay. They're back, and of course, everybody basically is like, everybody sits on a table. And Kawanaki sees something that, even when I was reading, I was kind of surprised. The broken vase is finished, and it's back on the table. Look, I'm starving. Yeah, then the order, seating order, is Kawanaki sitting at the head. We have Naruto sitting next to Himori, and Nada sitting next to Baruto. And you have, you have Kwanaki talking to him, Mori, about the broken face. Try to fix it, but look at the logo. Okay, I saw it. Use the one I bought you. Don't hear me. But I chose to use it. This face will become even more precious to me now. It's fine. You're both so weird. Hey, Kwanaki. I was going to give you something nice, but keep being rude, I won't. Huh, no way. You at least got to show me now. Seriously. You okay, you got it too. And then. Bar just gives Kwanaki his own ninja headband. What's this? Seriously, it's special to you? I'm not officially a shinobi yet. You guys, just basic good loner. Basic. He mentions about how he, he's got Sasuke. It's like, fine. He puts on his, like, looks fine to him. Mm-hmm. Doesn't suit you. Sorry. I uh, just basically hold on to it for a while. And he just pulls it down around his neck. I'm like, wow, that's deja vu. It seems like, wow, it's like, the only person I can think of who actually wore the ninja headband around their neck. I know Hanada basically was known for doing that. And I think that was it. She was the only one I can think of because, well, Sakura did. She wore around. Yeah, she did wear around her. She wore around basically her, her neck. Where are you? And Kwanki just stares at it. Apparently, he's sharing a room with Naruto. Kwanki, your place is here. Family. As long as you want. But you can't just feel the same. And I feel like, sorry, but it feels Jabba Sakage. Yeah, apparently sharing with Naruto. Now, in case you're curious, though, why isn't Naruto sharing his bed with his wife? His beautiful wife, the one who's giving him two kids? It's a Japanese thing. Apparently, man and wife, apparently uh, spouses can't share the same room for some reason. It's a custom thing. I'm sure Kishimoto himself basically put that there because, and this is just my personal theory, because that's what he's used to. Here, when it comes to couples, they share the same room. They don't have separate rooms. It's a Japanese thing. I'm not going to criticize him for this at all. I just think it's kind of weird as somebody who has gotten used to seeing something like this. But from our perspective, this seems kind of weird. But I'm not going to offend the Japanese cult just because that the sleep range was of a married couple is different from how it is here. Okay, I'm not going to criticize them. It's what they do. I think it's weird, but I'm not going to criticize them for it. So moving on from that. How about that? So, at the train for a bit, and of course we cut to bar to his room, where basically he looks at the car market in his hand he looks like the, the medicine 
And then we see Kwanki looking at Ninja Headband. Look at the new power of Karma. And the chapter ends right there with them basically sharing the room together. Next chapter comes out in, on August 18th. Like, just a little over three weeks away. 24 days. Yep. I gotta say, this actually was a pretty good chapter. It didn't feel like it advanced the plot of this arc very well. No, it feels like just basically like a little bit of step four, just basically, it feels like a standalone chapter, but part of the actual arc itself. It doesn't really advance much for anything. I would say the biggest advance was basically seeing the broken face again. That was quite nice. And it's a good continuity nod for people who are fans of the actual series itself. I mean, it's nice that we actually have a continuity nod to the actual series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, having Naruto refer to Kwanki as his stupid son, that's quite different. Yeah. Um, I'd say probably the most interesting thing for me is seeing Ibiki again, because it's been some time. Because in terms of this manga, I don't think he's ever made an appearance. I know he's made appearance in the anime a few times, but the manga? Not that I could think of, no. Unless someone can easily point out, though, of a time period manga for this chap, because I think this is the first time he's ever appeared in the Maruto manga. I mean, it's not surprising to see Sai and Shikamaru. I mean, in the case of Shikadai, his parents was a cameo. Yes, a cameo for Shikadai. Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. Mm hmm. Yep. But yeah, that's it for particular view. Next one's gonna be Combatants Will Be Dispatched. And then My Hero Academia, then One Piece, and then that is it for today, okay? Thanks for new. Bye.